Hello, Sonia Barrett here, producer of the documentary, The Business of Disease. And today I want to touch on a subject in terms of uh, how important is it to really to identify the name of a disease. And I think that, you know, for those who haven't really thought about it, I know I've talked to some people about it and they do understand where I'm coming from and what I'm saying about it. But uh, I find what's interesting is that we tend to take ownership of, and not just ownership, but identify ourselves as whatever it is we are um, dealing with at the moment. And so I think that with illness or with disease, um, I, I see where people have made it their identity. And that becomes really significant because the more we identify with it, the more we own um, the disease, not, and I don't mean, you know, that you should go around in denial, that's not what I'm speaking of, but people take ownership of it in a way that it really does become their identity. Uh, and that would mean all the things that are, uh, that, that defines that disease is what you end up taking on. You end up owning everything that that disease is supposed to be. And so we tend to hear people say, my this, my diabetes, my um, cancer, my um, whatever the next illness is. I can't even think of the illnesses because <laughs> I just, I don't really identify with it in that manner. What we have to look at is the fact that what's really going on with the body? The body is saying, I'm out of balance and I'm looking for balance. I'm seeking to return to some sort of balance. It doesn't matter what the, the disease is, what the illness is, it's a definite signal that the body is out of balance and it's seeking balance. That should be first and foremost in someone's mind when you are told that you have a particular uh, illness, a disease. It's what is it that my body is needing at this time? You know, what has created this, this situation in my body? Uh, as opposed to um, all of the symptoms that are supposed to be associated with it. So we look at it from that standpoint and we start to uh, take steps. We, we start to listen also to the body. You start paying attention to the body, the different signals that it was giving you prior to the diagnosis. Some people feel fine before they get a diagnosis and the minute they receive a diagnosis, then all the symptoms, everything starts showing up. Um, and, and they truly become very ill. Uh, so the, the fact is that if we can start to pay attention to the signals that we're receiving prior to even going and finding out, you know, that you have something, but this, you're being signaled prior to that. Uh, and to see what can I give to my body? What can I do to balance my body at this time? Uh, I think that the, it, it is about preventive, it is about listening, paying attention to the signals that the body is giving us more than more than anything else. But some people will say, but you know, I, I went to the, it's a good thing I went to the doctor, I went and then I found out that, you know, you've got some illness that they can't figure out how you're still walking around uh, even though you have it. So we have to look at all these factors. And we also have to remember the amazing design of this body, of this brain, of the mind as to how it all works together and how incredible we are at either crystallizing um, an experience, crystallizing something for it to, to take form. Sometimes in, a, in, a, in an even stronger way, we can make it uh, really take form and become prominent part of parts of our lives or we can say you know what this is what I'm doing I'm staying focused uh, and these are changes that I am planning to make now I've seen people on all sides of 
the spectrum in terms of health, in terms of uh, illnesses or diseases that they uh, have been diagnosed with or symptoms that they've had uh, and, and what they've worked on, you know, what they've decided to do. And I've seen people who decided to, you know, do nothing and or go with uh, what is now the traditional um, way. And again, to remind people, this is not about me promoting or pushing uh, what is now considered alternative health, which is an incredible joke, uh, because what is natural shouldn't be the alternative. It should be the natural uh, way uh, or process that is used. However, yes, it has become the alternative. We can look at it from the standpoint of, oh, I have the option then to go this route. But we must, what? We must educate ourselves. We must educate ourselves. So I'm being very, in one way, cautious in terms of how I say things, what I'm saying, because I'm not telling anybody to just ignore going to the doctor or run right out and, uh, you know, to the nearest health food store. I'm saying, what? Learn to pay attention to the signals that your body is giving you. And two, or maybe that should be the first one, educate yourself. Uh, invest in your healing. Invest in your health. Invest in, um, you know, preventive care as opposed to waiting till you go to the doctor for your checkup to see if you have something. And that's for some people that is their solution. I'm going to go, I'm going to wait and go, and then I'm going to see if I have something as opposed to um, really looking uh, at, at what the signals are at the time. So going back to the idea of investing in an illness. Is it about investing in the name of the disease or is it more about um, realizing that this gives me an opportunity to have a better understanding or a better handle on how to maybe deal with that particular uh, situation that I'm experiencing? So we have to start coming or looking at uh, a different model of how we handle disease. All right, so anyway, that went longer than I had planned, but I could talk all day on that subject because we are just programmed to identify ourselves with every next thing and somehow normalize the uh, identity. We, we, and this goes from identifying ourselves based on our profession or based on our, our uh, economic status or based on so many things we are taught to have identity that's always outside of us. It's always something external. So these are all the things that I'm pointing out. Now I want to remind you that the the movie, The Business of Disease, because some people are still asking, it can be found pretty much, you know, anywhere now, meaning that if you can only do uh, uh, the computer, the internet rather, you can go to um, Amazon, you can go to Vudu, you can go to Vimeo, you can go to YouTube. These are all on demand. Um, you can go to many of these platforms to watch the film. You can also watch it on the website, thebusinessofdisease.com. Uh, it's a video on demand as well. So you can go to thebusinessofdisease.com if you wish to watch it there. It's wonderful. Uh, it supports... Uh, the film supports us more directly if you watch it on the website, but you have all these platforms. You have Verizon, um, uh, I think uh, uh, Cox, um, Direct TV, I believe, um, uh, Frontier Communications. They're all listed on the website. If you want to know where you can see it, if you want to see it maybe on your network instead, you can go to thebusinessofdisease.com and it's on the homepage telling you exactly uh, what some of these um, platforms are that you can watch it. And this is for the U.S. and Canada. So you can watch it if you're in Canada, if you're in the U.S. These are options. So you've got the film. You can also buy the DVD on the website. So it's thebusinessofdisease.com. You can order the DVD. You can only order the DVD from the website at this time. Uh, there's also the book, 
Health and Inside Job and Outside Business. It's an incredible book. You do want to check it out. If you buy the two of them together, you'll see it's a package um, uh, offer that uh, you might want to take advantage of. It's cutting edge. So it's not what some people may think when they hear the business of disease. It is not just about pharmaceutical companies. It is not just about what's being done to us. It is cutting edge. It takes you into other levels. And some people go, oh my gosh, there's so much information. Yes, it is. It's a film that you have to watch several times. I'm just letting you know because that's what I've heard. And, and it's true because it is very edgy in terms of the information that is being presented. So share it with friends and family. So do check it out. Um, your health is significant because you need your body to move about this reality and experience it. Uh, so go to thebusinessofdisease.com. And um, if you have any questions, just reach out to me on the contact page on thebusinessofdisease.com. And I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. Thanks so much for watching.